Hey everybody, welcome to the Sky Lounge Review. Some anime! <laughs> Holy shit! Throat's still fucked up a little bit here, but uh, I'm trying to get all these videos out. I know, I, pro I, know I procrastinated a bit here on the Sky Lounge, but uh, god damn it. We correct our fucking mistakes here. Anyways, My Hero Academia episode number 57 The Rescue Mission. The rescue portion of the provisional exam. Ta da! So we open up to Class 1A and all the sur survivors of the previous portion of the exam, and we get to see all these powers um, obviously come into play, but at the same time, the rescue missions are more about using your fucking head. Alright, so, uh, you know, the employees, the characters, I swear to God, who took the cake on this one just because of how how ooh, polarizing they could be were the fucking employees who are working for that goddamn provisional exam thing. They're like DMV employees. I swear to God, and I, I, I just found this so hilarious, and I'll, I'll get to this in a moment, but with the characters, the these superhero pr uh, provisional license granting employees act like real world DMV employees. Just, <clears throat> you didn't fill out the form correctly, what are you even doing? Why are you even trying this? You fucking suck. And it just kept going and going and going like that. And, you know, the funny thing about that is just drawing parallels in, in real universe and applying that in a fictional universe to make it work in the context of that universe, but also provide that parallel, um, you know, uh, references. That's fucking, that's fucking brilliant uh, based on the writers and it's just fucking brilliant shit. All right, and so, you know, I just thought the funny thing about this episode was again just the the way the character designs are too, man. I mean, the this this the creator of My Hero Academia, and I always forget his name. So let's go ahead and look that shit up. But the hero of uh, the creator of My Hero Academia really does provide a very interesting um, set of character designs. And you get to see it during when you're actually reading the manga series, where he provides very detailed illustrations of what's going on and what's up. So Kohei Horikoshi, um, <clears throat> and go ahead and fucking fucking point fingers for butchering that shit. But let's go ahead and yeah, double check this shit. Kohei Horikoshi. Okay. So yeah, um, he has very distinct styles in terms of drawing, and being able to bring that into the animated universe is really great to watch. And, you know, the thing with My Hero Academia, they can regurgitate theme songs over and over, but because the context and the characters are always similar but different, I, I, like, because the characters feel so real, it's similar but different, right? And because of that... It translates to a fluidity in terms of each and every episode, which is very rare in TV shows because we all know TV shows will will have dips, right? But for me, My Hero Academia has consistently been awesome. It's consistently been solid. But seriously, that DMV reference fucking killed me. That shit just fucking killed me. I was losing my mind because I'm like, I just want to beat the fuck. Fuck you, buddy. But... That was about it. That was a great fucking episode. And again, if you're if you're not watching the show, what the fuck is wrong with you? Start watching My Hero Academia on Crunchyroll, Hulu, perhaps Pornhub. Go check that shit out. You like that shit? Well, click on the links in the description below. Follow me at the Sky Lounge. You know, subscribe and comment for daily content. Now, fuck off.